Daniel Clark was a clever and creative 14-year-old from Reigate who, to the shock of his friends and family, took his own life. The guilt, the grief, the blame, um, it felt really as if there, there was, there, there's an empty space and there still is an empty space inside me. A longing, um, something that's gone and that's just never going to come back and it's very painful. His family had known he was going through a tough time but never thought he would attempt suicide. It really was a shock when it happened. Just think about children dying by accidents and you know the injuries they get playing sports. But that suicide was the biggest killer of young people. I had no idea and nobody talks about it until it actually happens. It's, it's, a, it's criminal, it's, it's incomprehensible actually. Each year, more than 200 school children are lost to suicide, and it's hoped that a new education pack for teachers could help change that. It doesn't have all the answers, but what it does is, if nothing else, it opens the conversation about suicide prevention in schools. Schools across London are being encouraged to download it for free. The pressure adolescents feel now is much worse than it's been before and it's I don't think it is just exams I think the social media pressures are quite exponentially different from anything any of us can remember and it helps give us the vocabulary we need to to see these boys and girls and say there are things we can do to help you it's a simple document but it's hoped it'll give teachers confidence in helping their pupils they should just engage with it like they engage with so many other difficult things that they do every day in school and not be afraid. They can really save lives. The message? Tackle the stigma and don't be afraid to talk about suicide for the sake of children like Daniel. Ruth Zorko, ITV News.